When you log into Airtable, you'll immediately see your workspace. And a workspace is a collection of bases. And a base is a database of information. For example, I have a MakerPad workspace and all of these bases are different tutorial examples that I have done. Let's say I also need a workspace for personal research projects. I would have a workspace called research and each base might be a topic that I'm researching. To create a base, you can do it one of three ways. When you click add a base, you can start with a template, import a spreadsheet, or start from scratch. If you don't know how you want to set up your base, I suggest clicking on start from a template and explore all the different templates that Airtable has provided based off different use cases. When you start from scratch, you can name your Airtable, pick a color and an icon, and hop into it. From here, you'll see that you already have a table, and a table is a list of items, and each base can have multiple tables. And you might have a table based off let's say products, and then you would have another table called retail locations and another table called retail employees. And the cool thing about Airtable is that it's a relational database. So even though your information might be in separate tables, you can create linked records so that you can link information across your tables within the same base. Each table is made up of field types. A field type is a column and a row is a record. Each table has multiple views available. The standard view will always be grid view, but you can also create a calendar view, a gallery view, and a Kanban view. And each table can have a form that can take in information. Within each table, you can hide fields, filter, group, sort, color code, and even adjust your row height. Once you have your information set up, you can share the view or embed it. So these are the basics of Airtable. And in the next part, I'll go over the different field types. I'll see you there.